Half the year has gone by in a flash. Did we make the best of it? One day at a time allows us to focus on the present moment rather than becoming overwhelmed by the past or the future. It helps us manage our challenges by breaking them down into manageable daily efforts which can reduce anxiety and promote steady progress. As it says, spiritual progress, not spiritual perfection. We do shoot for the stars. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Take a breath. Now close your eyes. Slowly inhale. Breathe in positive energy. Breathe out negative thoughts. Take full breaths from your diaphragm. Let it out slowly through your mouth. Empty your lungs completely. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, do we realize we are miracles as sober alcoholics? July 7th, thought for the day. We had become hopelessly sick people, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. The power that controlled us was greater than ourselves. It was John Barleycorn. Many drinkers have said, I hadn't gone that far. I hadn't lost my job on account of drink. I still had my family. I managed to keep out of jail. True, I took too much sometimes, and I guess I managed to make quite an ass of myself when I did. But I still thought I could control my drinking. I didn't really believe that I was an alcoholic. If I was one of these, have I fully changed my mind? Meditation for the day. Painful as the present time may be, you will one day see the reason for it. You will see that it was not only testing, but also preparation for the life work, which you are to do. Have faith that your prayers and aspirations will someday be answered. Answered in a way that perhaps seems painful to you, but is the only right way. Selfishness and pride often make us want things that are not good for us. They need to be burned out of our natures. We must be rid of the blocks which are holding us back before we can expect our prayers to be answered. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be willing to go through a time of testing. I pray that I may trust God for the outcome. We were living in a delusion. The delusion appeared real to us. It was real to us. Our minds had tricked us to believe we were not sick. Yet we were so sick that we were killing ourselves. We were outright mental defectives. We would pass polygraph tests that we were not alcoholics because we truly believed it. Delusion defined is a persistent false psychotic belief regarding the self or persons or objects outside the self that is maintained despite indisputable evidence to the contrary. We thought we weren't that bad yet. Yet! We knew we were not on a good trajectory, but we weren't prepared to say we were powerless over alcohol. We had more fight in us. We weren't quitters. We put the bottle in front of everything else, our relationships and even our health. We can stop tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we will deal with it. Our wives were crazy anyhow. We didn't want to have her complain about our drinking. It's good that she went to live at her mother's house. We justified and rationalized our downward spiraling life. We were having a bad string of luck. It could have happened to anyone. Problem is, it wasn't happening to anyone. It was happening to us. And it was our drinking that caused it. 
Finally, our psyches had a crack, and we let the small thought in that maybe the others had a point, that we needed to address our drinking. We stopped drinking for a day, then a few days, and then we drank again, in spite of our firm resolution to not drink until a certain date, if even then. Desperate and afraid, we sought out someone who has been where we were and asked for help. We admitted we were powerless. We had repeatedly failed to refrain from picking up a drink or, when we were drinking, to control how many we took. All of a sudden, we found ourselves in an AA meeting. We heard our stories of debauchery and a new hope inspired us because we heard people tell how they drank like we did, how they described how we felt and that those same people no longer have to drink, and they are happy in life without the bottle. Attraction, not promotion. We wouldn't have stayed if they preached to us. They told what they did and offered to guide us if we wanted what they had, and if we were willing to go to any length to get it. So we got in the trenches, the steps, and came out the other end as miracles of God's grace. We continued to grow along spiritual lines, Helping others to recover is our passion in life today. We want to pass on to others the gift that we were given to live happy, joyous, and free lives. Consider, do we realize we are miracles as sober alcoholics? July 7th, thought for the day. We had become hopelessly sick people, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. The power that controlled us was greater than ourselves. It was John Barleycorn. Many drinkers have said, I hadn't gone that far. I hadn't lost my job on account of drink. I still had my family. I managed to keep out of jail. True, I took too much sometimes, and I guess I managed to make quite an ass of myself when I did. But I still thought I could control my drinking. I didn't really believe that I was an alcoholic. If I was one of these, have I fully changed my mind? Meditation for the day. Painful as the present time may be, you will one day see the reason for it. You will see that it was not only testing, but also preparation for the life work, which you are to do. Have faith that your prayers and aspirations will someday be answered. Answered in a way that perhaps seems painful to you, but is the only right way. Selfishness and pride often make us want things that are not good for us. They need to be burned out of our natures. We must be rid of the blocks which are holding us back before we can expect our prayers to be answered. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may be willing to go through a time of testing. I pray that I may trust God for the outcome. Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.